My name is Rashid. I'm a former Muslim. I left my own country because I was not allowed to leave Islam or criticize it. I am to be killed if I go today to any Muslim country. And now, when I came to the West, Muslims are trying to shut me off using another tool, Islamophobia. What is Islamophobia anyway? I never heard that term when I was in Morocco. They just told me that the apostate should be killed. But in the West, if you criticize Islam, you are accused of Islamophobia. Islam silences us in the East by threatening some of us, arresting some, persecuting others, and killing the apostates. But in the West, Islam is trying to silence us using this weird term, Islamophobia. I know that thousands were persecuted because of Islam, and thousands were killed because of Islamic terrorism. On the other hand, let me ask those who use this term, how many people were killed because of Islamophobia? You want to talk about Islamophobia? Then I want you to find a name for this, please. When I left Islam and converted to Christianity, I was rejected by my own Muslim family because Islam asks them to do so. I was persecuted by my own country because it's an Islamic country and the king is the prince of the believers. When I met secretly with Christians who were converts like me, we were not allowed to have Bibles in Arabic. We were not allowed to meet and worship. Those of us who wanted to marry had only one option, to do it as an Islamic marriage. We were not allowed to name our kids Christian names. Only Arab Muslim names were allowed. Our kids were forced to study Islam at school and memorize verses of the Quran. We met in homes. We closed doors and windows. And we sang quietly so nobody can hear us. We pretended we were just visiting friends in order to meet. We were forced to fast during Ramadan. And if we ate publicly, we would get up to six months in prison. We were forced to hear criticism about our faith and stay silent. Because if we answer back, we would be arrested and sentenced to at least two years for shaking the faith of a Muslim. This did not happen in Saudi Arabia or Iran. This was in Morocco, one of the most moderate countries in the Muslim world. And it's not only me who suffered. Others, atheists, are suffering till now. Christians are suffering. Baha'is are suffering. Whoever criticizes Islam is suffering. What do you call this? Please give it a name. Freedomophobia? Islam is afraid of freedom. Freedom never killed anybody. People have the right to be afraid of Islam. This is not a phobia. This is a reasonable fear because we see the fruits of Islam. We see it in Muslim countries. We see it in ISIS. When it, we see it also in terrorism news everywhere, in Boko Haram, in Shabab, in Somalia, in Saudi Arabia, in the beheadings, the crucifixions, the hand amputations, and the stoning. It's a real fear. Therefore, we will criticize Islam, and Muslims should live with that. Islam is not a race. I can criticize it without being afraid to be called a racist. Islam is a set of doctrines. I have the right to criticize it like any other doctrine. It's a set of ideas. People can denounce them, can criticize them, and can even hate them without being harassed or accused 
of hatred. Is it a hate speech if I hated an ideology? Islam is an ideology. Islam gives itself the right to criticize other religions, especially Christianity and Judaism. It should accept criticism from others as well. Muslims, for example, accuse Christians of changing their Bible and call them polytheists because they worship Jesus. So they should accept criticism toward their religion as well. Freedom goes both ways. It's, it's not only good when it serves you. Muslims are people. Islam is an ideology. Criticizing and hating Islam does not mean hating Muslims. My parents are Muslims. Many of my family members are Muslims. I love them and respect them. But still, I criticize Islam without confusing the two. We should differentiate between them. My family members are not forced to be Muslims, neither any Muslim. They can denounce it. It's not their race or their DNA, it's their choice. If there is a phobia, it exists in Muslim countries, which are afraid of freedom, afraid of bunch of Christians meeting in a house to pray, afraid of people eating publicly in Ramadan, afraid of a woman uncovering her hair. Those who keep preaching to us about Islamophobia should preach it to Saudi Arabia who is afraid of a woman driving her car and afraid of a blogger who was blogging about freedom. Terrorism committed by those Muslim jihadists is obviously linked to Islam. We should not be afraid to say